What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel again. In today's video, I wanted to do a follow-up to a video I did uh, two days ago, I believe. So that video, I showed you guys how to connect your Fire Stick, your streaming device, your Chromecast or Google TV to your laptop. And um, just one of those situations where if you're on the go, you don't have a screen with you, maybe at an airport or a hotel, you do have that option. Well, a lot of requests in the comments for me to show how to configure this for a Mac. So this is what we're doing today. As you can see, I do have a MacBook. Uh, it is running. Um, it is. It does have my Fire Stick displayed right there. Works really well, looks great. The sound's passing through. So we're gonna jump into the configuration. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So before we jump into what we're gonna need as well as how to configure this, let's just quickly go through it. I'll show you that everything's working and just that everything's working really well. So first of all, the latency is minimal, so. All right. So pretty good for what we're doing here, as you can see. Passing through really nice. The audio's coming through nice and loud. And if I was to play a video, let's go to YouTube. All right, so let's just play that first video. At Arbor Freight, we do business differently from the other guys. We design and test our own tools and sell them directly to you. No middleman, just quality tools you can trust at prices you'll love. All right, let's skip the ad. Triple M here. In today's video, I'm doing a quick comparison between the new on 4K streaming pro device from Walmart and the Fi TV Stick 4K Max. Now, I did a poll on this and wanted to know which device you guys wanted me to compare. So, of I course, I can still pause, I can results. skip ahead. Device sounds really good. The audio's passing really through. Best Fire TV Stick, in my opinion. But the and of course, like I said, I can go through the operating system. Everything works. Like I said, in this situation, I know it's not for everyone, but if you find yourself going on a trip, maybe you have a hotel that doesn't have a monitor or television for you to plug into, always gonna have your laptop and this is gonna be an option for the setup. So let me show you what I have. So with these situations, this type of setup, I'll recommend using a uh, Fire Stick or Chromecast with Google TV, the smaller version. That way, everything can be powered by your laptop so you can see here i have the fire stick right here it is plugged into a usb hub a usb c hub um so on the usb c hub i have a couple usb ports that's all you need and i'll link everything in the description that i have right here so i have the fire stick i got a power source which is a micro usb going to one of the usb ports and also have a video capture card um price on these i checked the other day was like 13 dollars. they've really gone down really inexpensive and like i said i'll link a couple where you can go ahead and check it out so three basic things that you need if your device already has full size usb ports you should be good to go you shouldn't need the hub but for me the mac only has two usb c ports so i had to go ahead and split that up so like i said you have the usb dongle right here with multiple ports also have the video capture card five tv stick 4k max and I do have the power source going back into another USB port on the hub. So pretty straightforward, everything on here is powered by my laptop, so no need to go get additional devices. So I already showed you all the equipment you'll need for the setup. Let's jump into the configuration. For this, you will need OBS Studios. It is a free download. Um, I, uh, I'll leave the link to OBS in the description of this video as well. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove everything and we'll just start from scratch and show you guys how I have it set up. All right, so this is what OBS will look like when you first launch it. Um, nothing there, you'll see an audio source. So this is just using your system's mic. Once you have everything plugged in, it should be plug and play. You shouldn't need to go in and install any drivers or install any applications for this to work. Once you launch OBS Studios, uh, the the settings are a little bit different than what we did on a PC. So there's an extra step in here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So first thing you're gonna do on the sources, you're gonna go ahead and add. All right, when we go to add, we're gonna add a video capture device. So click on that. And you can give it a name, whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave mine as video capture device. I'm gonna click okay. And now on the device, I'm gonna hit the drop down, and you can see you have a couple options there my phone my camera my 
other things but the one that we're looking for is usb video and that's the mac detecting the usb capture card so usb video is the one we're looking at when you click on that you should see your um your fire stick pop up and with this i just leave it on high resolution but you can choose 1080p if that's what you wanted to go with or you can uncheck this box and select a specific resolution so like i said i'm going to use a preset here i'm going to just go to high and I'm just gonna leave this part there. So that takes care of the video aspect. All right, so now we can see the video from the capture card. Next thing we're gonna do is, uh, this is where the step kind of differs from what I did on the PC. You have to add the audio source as well. So this, uh, for this to work, we'll need to go back in the sources and we're gonna select add. All right, we're gonna go to audio input device. Click on that. Again, you can rename it if you want to. Click OK. And now we're going to hit the drop down. And again, you're going to see all those devices. But the one that we're looking for is USB digital audio. And again, this is taking the audio from the USB capture card, video capture card. And you're going to go ahead and use that. Click on that. And click OK. All right. So now I'm clicking around. Still nothing happening. So where is my audio? <laughs> all right. One more additional step you need to do. And this will be the last step, I promise, is... Under audio mixer, you're gonna select the two gears icon and you should see two devices. You're gonna see your input mic and your capture card. You're gonna see your audio input capture and you're gonna see the mic or auxiliary. The one that we're looking for is the audio input capture. And again, that's detecting the video capture card. We wanna to go to the right where it says audio monitoring. Click the drop down, and you can select monitor only, monitor and output, completely up to you. But once you select that, you should now have audio synced in. And of course, the last step you want to do, you want to make this full screen so it looks like you're just carrying around a portable fire stick. You're going to go ahead and right click right here in the blank area. We're going to go to full screen preview and we're just going to select the full resolution there. And now we're completely running the fire stick while just using this basic setup, like I said. So like I said, the capture card is gonna be needed in this one. Fire Stick is gonna be needed or a streaming device. Um, the hub is optional if you only have USB-C ports on your device, which a lot of devices now. But if you have two full-size USB ports on your laptop, you don't need the hub. You can plug both devices in directly. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like I said, I did this for PC the other day. I'll go ahead and link that video. But if you're on a Mac, Steps is a little bit different, but should still be able to accomplish the same thing. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.